The reason we're doing this today is because in their hearts, they want to honor God. And it's important to them that, that this is done today for that very reason. And so um, we're glad that you're here with us. We're glad that, uh, that, that you're joining us today because marriage is not just man's idea. It's not about governments that, that give us the ability to get married. It's not somebody's bright idea. It's not even a cultural idea. Marriage is not just a good idea. It's a God idea. And it's something that he established at the very beginning of time. And so today is to honor him because this is something that he's blessed our lives with in, in these unions that we get to be a part of. Sinead, today I choose you as my wife. I give you myself with no doubt or hesitation. From the day I met you, you captivated me and challenged me in a way that no other has ever done. Your smile, compassion, style, love for others, sharpness, quirkiness, got me hooked from the moment we first met. You have believed in me and stuck, stuck by me. And for that, I promise to love you, honor, and support you. I promise to be honest and faithful. I promise to help you chase your dreams. I promise to guard and protect you. I promise to provide for you in the way God has planned for me to do. I promise to honor you and make you a proud wife. I promise to stand by you through good and bad. I promise to bring happiness, laughter, and fun into our home. So today we start our lives as one. Let us not forget who we are, but embrace it and live a life that we were destined to have. Not only are you my best friend, but now my wifey too. <laughs> My Rexta, you are my best friend and the love of my life. Everything in me recognizes your heart as my home and your arms my shelter. And so today, I vow to honor and respect you, support and encourage you. I vow to listen to you and learn from you. I promise to dream with you, celebrate with you, and walk beside you in whatever life brings. I vow to laugh with you and cry with you. I promise to bake for you, but I can't promise you'll always like it. <laughs> I promise to always strive to fight with you and for you and never against you. I promise to remember we are not perfect, only perfect for each other. I promise to always keep you as my priority, God first and then you. I vow to pray with you, build a family with you and raise our children in the ways of the Lord to love you unconditionally and wholeheartedly for the rest of my life. I vow to put all my effort into strengthening our marriage and giving you the best version of me, to love you without hesitation or boundaries from this day forward for the rest of my life. You've been the most precious daughter, and I have to say that you have chosen the most wonderful, wonderful husband. Ricky, you are such a champ, and I love how much you love her. You accept all the challenges that go with it because she's strong. But that strength, she's the best person to ever have in your corner. Honestly, she will fight for you to the end, you know. So I feel like I'm releasing her into your hands today. And I'm so happy to be doing that. And I just love you. And I wish you both all the best. And please don't wait too long to have babies. <laughs> I need some grandchildren. I'd like to just uh, a toast to my wife, my beautiful wife. Uh, I'm saving, I'm saving my speech for for next year because we are going to have a big one next year where everyone can be there. Um, I'm just really grateful that all of you are here. It means a lot to us, and thank you. And yeah, thank you for everything. Love you guys lots. Well done,